is my second time picking tomatoes. And for every tomato I pick, there's one or two of these that an animal's in the garden eating them. When I planted the garden, I did plant more than I needed because I figured for insects or whatever, but I think they're getting like more than I was expecting. I'm nervous now with the garden. Pick them a little bit green, not green, a little bit like yellow, like you see here. It has a little green on them, and they ripen. You let them sit, and they'll ripen. But the problem is, the uh, the fruit flies, and they kind of start to rot because if there's any blemish on them, the fruit flies are getting a hold of them. So, um, what am I doing? I'm I'm picking all. Look at here's one. It was two, and two of them are rotten. So I'm giving them to the sheep. I'm just throwing them over to the sheep, and uh, this is what I got so far for the tomatoes. And I got another bucket like this at my house. I wanted to can them today, but I wasn't able to can them because I'm working on my house to get it ready for winter. I'm trying to get rid of some of the grass, fix the doors. All right. So I showed you two. Here's two more. So you see I didn't put two in the bucket, but this is what I'm picking up from the garden. Um, and I'm picking them so the other ones that's starting to grow will keep their vitamins. Because it's still connected to the fence, to the vine. Here's another one that's... See, here's another one. And I did pick two there. So I think the... Two more that's that's eight. So there's two more eight and I only picked that. And there's a bunch of eight over here. But I get a lot of tomatoes. And I got sick just as it was it was like in the prime of growing because I was gonna stake them up. Four of them eating. There's four of them eating, and I didn't pick none. But my mother. So what am I trying to do to help this problem? I'll tell you what happened. I really never had this problem before. You know why I didn't have this problem? I don't get as many wild. I have what they call uh, barn cats. I don't have the barn cats like I had in the past. Something got a hold of the barn cats. I don't know if it was a human or. Sometimes the humans feel bad for them and they take them to the SBCA or wild animals. Every you know, time I see a weed, I'll pull it out. It's yours. It's not pull it out. See how these are just starting to turn? This one really, I shouldn't have picked this. But see how they're starting to turn? I'm picking them because I feel like. If I don't pick them, they're, they're going to be eaten from the animals. And I think it's got to do with, I've seen like a chipmunk or a squirrels all around here, or the chickens, because I see little small posts. So I think I've I got seen small. multiple things going on. I see a lot of You can see there's a lot of tomatoes in here. So, I can't be green, but I got a chair. This one is small. Is it a marshmallow? It's a marshmallow. 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 See this one? See what I mean? If I save that, I can still use this part of it. But put in the bucket, the fruit flies will get in this. I took in a bucket and I keep two bucket. I keep two bucket. I keep two 
I think Kevin. I think Kevin. He's picking all the green tomatoes too. Get him out of the garden. I think having the, the barn cats are very good to have for a farm. It keeps the rats out and it keeps the, the other animals down. So I definitely recommend you get a farm. Thank you. No, it goes together. I recommend having a barn cat. Both of them. Both There's all different kinds of tomatoes. Let me see that, that video. There's all different kinds of tomatoes. Come here. Watch where you're stepping. You're stepping on the tomato plants. Let me show you. Thank you, Bella, for helping me. But I'll show you when I'm walking and trying to find. I squished the tom on the tomatoes. Yeah, we squish the tomatoes as we're walking. You see how we find them. Let me just show you real quick. Walk you around. And see these? I liked that. That worked out really good. Is putting that fence in in the beginning. And um, you can see, not having the fence, they kind of entangle one another. But as I have them grow, I just try to push them over so I can make footpaths. And I'm going to pick these. I already told you why. I'm picking these because if I don't, I feel like the animal's going to get them. So I'm going to pick them. I hold my hand in the camera. Watch, get get out. You still get out. Thank you. Thank you. Get out. They're hold stepping on, on all the tomatoes. All right, no, Bella, Mom. go on out. By the time they're done, you see this one's picked. I call it picked because it looks like that had been a chicken. I got some free ranging chickens and I, they sleep up in the trees. So look at them all. See these? And I'm taking them off the vine. So look at, see this one. So it gives the nutrition to the other ones. And these are those yellow ones. I planted them for my Alfred because he liked them. Yeah, he said they're really expensive and they taste really good. These yellow ones. Personally, if it wasn't him, I wouldn't grow them. But I grow it for him. I'll tell you, my favorite is the plums. See how I'm breaking my own tomato plants? Uh, I like these plums. Why? Because I bought the plums that had the Mexican package on them. And I feel like they were small. And they're a little cheaper package. But these ones here were, I forget the name of them, Burpee. And I noticed they're a bigger plump tomato. And these are the bigger ones. I bought all kinds of seeds because I wanted to try them out. Okay. I'm going to take these. If I didn't have that problem with the animal, I'd let them ripen a little bit more. I'm not going to play around and lose what I'm getting. I'm going to take it while I got it. I'm telling them with everything. I'm not a gambler. So, this is what's going on with the garden. So that'll take, you want to know how long that's going to take to ripen? It'll take probably about three, four days. And those will be as red as you would see in, you know, the way you'd want it. See, this one fell off the bush. I'm going to pick these ones. This one's already plucked. You can feel a hole in it. Yeah, I dropped one. I'm gonna try to grab it. I feel good that I accomplished. Oh, I broke two off. Maybe I didn't, because Clark Stanley was in the garden helping me pick them. He helped me pick all these tomatoes. But, see, this is what I got. If you see them totally green like that, that's it fell off. But see that little one, that one will have the fruit flies get to it. So unless I use it for a sandwich or something, and I go to good tomatoes for the uh, cannon. Look at these are the ones that I picked for Alfred, planted for Alfred. So 
Wann ist es mal gemacht? Alright. Just have a good day. And there's the animals. <laughs>